One day, at Wington Yards, Richard was having problems. He had took a freight train from Naffer Harbor on the island of Minnesota all the way to Wington Harbor and he was having problems. Mark noticed it. Is something wrong, Richard? Well, I do have some boiler ache. I wish I could have a little rest. Wow, that's a problem. I'm sorry for what happened, Richard. Yeah, I just wish I had a few minutes and I got a passenger train to take to Fenton Station and got some trucks to take from the coal depot near it to Vickerstown Yards. And then I had to take some trucks from Brendam Docks to Potterton Yards and I don't know who will take my passenger train. Mark wanted to help. Why don't I take your passenger train from Wington Station to Navrit Station? I got a few minutes if I have the time. You will? Thank you, Mark. And Richard and Mark's driver talked and they agreed. Later, Murdoch took Richard to the works to get repairs. And Mark has to do Richard's work along with his own. He doesn't mind. He likes to be helpful. Mark, you're doing so well while well, Rich is at the works. Thanks, Hector, and thanks, Lisa. Just knew I got it. Well done, Mark. You're doing so well. You're doing so well. Thanks, Toby, here yet. Just trying to be on time. At least I'm being really helpful. You are. At least you're having a rest after taking Richard spray trains and pasture trains. Yeah, at least I'm getting a drink. So, at least you're doing so well, Mark. Thank you, Derek. Just trying to be really useful. Anyways, I gotta go. Ooh. Got some China clay trucks to take to Brendam Docks from the clay pits, and Bill and Ben are waiting for me. See you later, Mark. And Derek went off. While Mark was having a drink, he was still thinking about Richard. Later that night, Mark was doing well with the passers. Hey, Mark, you're doing so well. Thanks, Elizabeth. And Mark felt much better. Later, Mark was doing well. He was happy that he was on time, but he was still thinking about Richard. Later, that night, 
he talked to Paxton and Nafford Sheds. Oh, I wish things are okay for Richard. I just only wanted to help him. Are you okay, Mark? You look tired. Oh, I'm okay, Paxton. Just wish I could help Richard. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure things will be fine. Richard knows you're doing so. Richard knows you're doing well. So is the top of that, and Mr. Turner. Everyone knows you're really useful. You know what, Paxton? You're right. I'm sure things will be fine. Like... Richard probably came back from the works and he's doing so well with the passengers and the freight trains that he's doing so well. I'm sure. Anyway, got to get some sleep. Got to take some trucks from the quarry to Tidmouth Harbour and Nafford Harbour tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm sure things will be fine. Later, the next day, Richard came back from the works and he was doing so well. He was so happy that he was repaired and he wished he could help Mark. Later, Mark is resting in a siding at the yards near Nafford Harbor when he heard about Richard. Later, Emily arrived. She was taking coal trucks to the coal depot. Emily and Bruno noticed Mark was upset, and Emily doesn't know what's going on. Hey Mark, is something wrong? Mark explained everything to Emily and Bruno. Mark, I heard you doing awesome, doing Richard's work as well as you're in. You're doing so well. I'm not sure, Emily. It's just been messed up. Like, once I got into an accident with some trucks that I was taking, and it was a bit difficult. It doesn't matter if it's messed up. Everyone knows you're a really useful engine, and I'm sure everyone knows that. Um, Alright then. Emily's right. Everyone knows you got this. Like, Richard did so well when he took the boat train, and he was alright when Henry saved him from scrap. You know what? You're right. I'm sure I got this. And I'm sure things will be fine for Richard. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure you got this. Anyway, I got to go. Those boat trucks are needed for Benton Harbor. See you later. Emily's right. I'm sure I got this and everything is fine. Later, Richard was taking some trucks from the yards near Jonah's Branch on the Nightingale Railway. Richard's doing well and he was right on time. Hello, Nate. Just doing so well. Later, Richard headed over to South Hall Station. I'm sure I'll be on time. And there was Mark, stuck on a hill. Are you alright, Mark? What happened? Oh, I was about to take a passenger train to Wington Station, but I got stuck on the hill, and I almost broke down. And I wish I could get there, and I knew it's going to be difficult, and I knew I'm going to be late. Don't worry, what if I push you? Really, you will, Richard? I could help you. Last time, you helped me, and I was grateful when you helped me. Now it's my turn to help you. Richard went forward, and he was coupled up. Ready, Mark? Ready, Richard. And they slowly started. 
It was a bit difficult for Richard, but with lots of steam, he kept on going. Well done, Richard. Keep going. You're doing great. And Richard was happy that he was helping Mark. It was a bit difficult, but Richard kept trying. Feeling a little tired but confident, Richard and Mark arrive at Wington Station right on time. Lizzie was surprised to notice it and she realized Mark and Richard did so well. Uh, we finally made it, Richard. Yeah, we finally made it. And out came Mr. Turner. Oh no, what will he say? It's okay, Richard. I'm not upset with you. I'm just happy you helped Mark. And I gotta say, you did so well. Sir Topham had, had called me about it on his phone and sent me a text message about it. And I gotta say, Richard, you did so well helping Mark. And I heard you and Mark help each other. And I gotta say, you did so well, Richard. Well done. Oh, thank you, Mr. Turner. Richard felt happier than he had ever noticed. Later, Mark was repaired and he was back to work. And he was happy that his friend Richard had helped him. And Richard and Mark are now friends. And they were happy that things have been awesome since they got to Wington Station on time. Later, Richard talked to Henry about it in Nafford Station. Looks like you and Mark did so well. We did, because helping others is important, Henry. And you know what? I'm so happy that I was able to help Mark. And Henry agreed, and Richard and Henry noticed it was awesome. And it looks like Richard had been helpful, don't you? Hey, Steamer. Oh, Percy, it's been a while. How's your day been? My day's been awesome, and my night's been awesome. Been taking the mail train as usual, and it's been awesome. Oh, mine's been okay. Just been taking trucks from the wharf to the quarry, and I helped Duke with the passengers, and things have been so well. Wow, that's awesome, Steamer. I see Bertram Station's having the grand reopening. Yeah, at least you brought the workmen. Yeah, and... 
and I don't know who caused the rock slide at Bertram Station. Actually, it was Stanley that caused it. Oh yeah! Stanley had brought the explosives and he caused an explosion at Bertram Station, causing the rock slide to crash into Bertram Station. Oh, I noticed what you meant. Maybe the explosion will c cause an extraction to them. <sighs> it's like I remember it like it was last time. I know, Percy. But at least things are okay after Smudger defeated Stanley and... And don't worry. Things have been fine when... Smudger and Tim Barton saved Duke and... Got me back when... He and Tim Barton helped everyone. And I'm just happy that things are... Still gonna continue just the way it's always been. Totally normal. Indeed, Steamer. It looks like it's been awesome. Like Thomas had told me about it, and I'm just happy that things have been awesome. Yeah, anyways, gotta go. Gotta get those patches to Lakeside. I'll see you later. See you later, Steamer. Bye. Yup. Totally normal indeed, Steamer.